Welcome back to Heaven's Set Boyfriend. And I'm Chancellor. How are you guys doing this evening? Hello, hello, hello. We got a beautiful break to talk about tonight. It's Friday night. We got Draje. Draje. A Remnant Songs. A Remnant Song. It's a good one. Stay tuned. Oh, yes. Don't want to miss this one. All right. <laughs> so here we have Draje now. You may say, hey, I think I've seen that video before on the channel. It's because, yeah, it was in combination with. A couple of other fragrances that we talked about, orange and honey blossom, orange, not honey blossom, orange blossom, yeah. marshmallow fragrances. Mm. But this is more of an almond. Yeah, so it's a almond orange blossom. Right. Fragrance, yeah. more so than marshmallow, but it kind of gives an impression of mar marshmallow. That's why we're going to talk about it individually because I just sprayed this one today and Chance smelled it again and he was like, Yo, when I tell you, listen, <laughs> it is called Reminence All. It, you will remember this one, so man, let's get into it. Let's get oh, into it. Oh, I get it. You reminiscing and oh, okay. Reminisce, yes. He's talking about, okay, you say Kind of like when you, go to, you. when you go someplace and um, you know uh, you're out on a hot summer day, you smell something like maybe cherries or you know something really, really sweet like uh, cotton candy. You'll never forget that smell because it just sticks to you. You reminisce about it. Exactly, yeah. Draje is um, a type of confection. Um, so if you think about, if you remember Jordan almonds, it's like the candy coated almonds, like in very beautiful colors, kind of pastel colors. You kind of remind you of Easter eggs or yeah. weddings or things of the sort. So Draje is um, a name for the sugar candy coated almonds, um, very similar. So this is kind of the impression you give this fragrance. Um, it's a beautiful bottle, but I love the white and the gold and the gold lettering on there. So the actual formal name for this fragrance is um, Les Notes Gourmands. That is the, um, basically the addition of the fragrance. It's, it's, it's the collection is in, but the um, actual fragrance house is from the sauce. And the name of the fragrance is Drage. All right, so Chance is gonna go ahead and read the um, notes for us so we can kind of find out what's in this fragrance. <laughs> yes, and as always guys, um, if you're liking what we're doing here, if you uh, kind of resonate with the fragrances that we're talking about, or if you have some um, suggestions or some fragrances that you like for this fall season, please comment, leave them in the, uh, in the comment section below. Let's get some uh, dialogue going and then, you know, maybe we can uh, talk about them, so. Let's get to it. Definitely. I look forward to your comments. Yes. So for the top notes of this, we have mandarin, orange, cardamom, and pedigree. Middle notes, we got almond blossom, ooh, orange blossom, and plum. And for the base notes, we have vanilla, musk, and cedar. Yes. That's a really good explanation. So you've got a couple of fruits in there. You have the orange blossom and the plum. Um, for this fragrance, I don't really get orange blossom and plum. So on initial spray, I get cherry. Now, why do I get cherry? Because almost kind of some smell like cherries a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they do. Exactly. So, and this is where you get a cherry sweetness, um, a powdery, a powderiness. So, um, like powdered sugar and almonds, and you kind of makes you think about that um, sugar coating on those uh, drage, the um, the um, Jordan almonds. <laughs> basically like the candy coated almonds. The ones that come in like the blue and the pink and the yellow, they kind of almost look like Easter eggs. Right, those the, pa sorts. the pastel colors. Yeah. So you kind of get that at first um, mm -hmm. with the cherry, the cherry almond smell um, or scent. And then afterwards, as it kind of dries down, you start getting more of an orange blossom. So it kind of reminds you a little bit of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this is a dupe for Love Don't Be Shy. Don't get me wrong. I have heard a couple of people, a couple of people review this fragrance and they say, oh, it's a dupe for Love Won't Be Shy. There are no dupes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, on this channel, you'll notice with me, no two things smell alike. I, I Now, it may remind you of something, but there are no dupes. If you love a fragrance, you need to get that fragrance because it's, it's art. So you'll never get the same thing twice, but you will get impressions. So with this one here, you get the impression of the orange blossom and the sweet, but you get the almond in there, that kind of cherry smell. You don't get that in Love Don't Be Shy or other kind of marshmallowy uh, orange blossom fragrances. Um, this one here is just a very dry, powdery smell, very feminine and soft and very sensual and very intoxicating. I feel like it's intoxicating in the way of it's not like drowning your senses where you're overall just <laughs> just 
smelling sugar. You smell, it smells like a delicacy. If, if, yes. if that makes sense. Like, very like decadent. A decadent, there you yes. go. It's like a dessert, but um, very well blended, beautiful fragrance. Now, do I get plum? No, I don't get plums per se as far as a fruity smell, but you do get a very rich, uh, deep smell where you can kind of see where plum may play into it because you get like a um, a moist, it's, it's, not, it's weird, I said it's a dry and powdery, but you kind of get a, um, a, just like a, kind of like the way a plum texture is, more so than the way it smells, like the richness and the denseness, like when you bite into a plum. I get that, um, and of course, orange blossom, um, and then what's it, the cedar. So the cedar as the dryness at the end, and the vanilla. So, um, beautiful fragrance, what do you think? Very much so, so when she first sprayed it, like, again, reminiscence, like, no better word could describe this fragrance right here. When she first sprayed it on, it kind of reminded me of the, uh, the Tom, the ambergris. Uh, from the Tom Ford uh, 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 Soleil, it really, really that smacked me in the nose because it, it's so memorable. I got a lot of the vanilla, I got the musk, I got the sugariness. It's a really, um, I'm not going to say overly thick, but it's really, really sweet. It's a really um, soft, sweet, feminine smelling perfume, and uh, I, I love it. So the funny part is, um, Chancellor, one of the first fragrances you smell that I own is the Tom Ford um, Soleil Blanc. Yes, yes. So ever since he smelled that fragrance and I tell him, I show him another fragrance, he kind of compares it to that fragrance because that's like the top of the top for him. Yeah, <laughs> yes. As far as uh, one of my fragrances goes. So that ambergris, like I told you, I love whales. And ambergris is... <laughs> Even though this doesn't have ambergris in it, for some reason, Chance has a sense of maybe like a musky uh, kind of ambergris sense of it. Not that it's... Um, salty and ocean like um like, like the way ember is supposed to give that impression but he feels like a clean musk smell from this i believe right but the thing when he says ember that means that he reminds him of tom for so they want which means it's a, a thumbs up for, for you right? absolutely yeah <laughs> hands down thumbs up because again so, it just smells so so uh feminine uh, right I mean, like it takes your breath away it's a reminder of, of something he really loves which is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So I would say if you're a big fan of Soleil Blanc, you should give this a try. Not in the sense of it's a dupe for it or smells anything like it, but it gives you the same kind of feel in the fragrance, you know? Um, but um, gorgeous, you know, and you can go ahead and pick this one up. Um, it's not too much money now. It's kind of tough to find this one in the U.S. Um, it is kind of a fragrance you have to find overseas or um, sometimes that fragrance discounts they may have a nice deal on it because you know they tend to have fragrances from other countries sometimes but um definitely give this one a try <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it. So, guys, again, thank you for joining us this Friday evening. It's fall time. Uh, each Friday, we're going to be coming back, sharing another fragrance with you guys. We're going to be more and more consistent. So, with that being said, please, please, please don't forget to like, share, comment, you know, like, uh, let us know what are your thoughts, what are you guys wearing um, these days, and then just kind of give us some feedback. Yeah, definitely. I would love that. I love to see your comments. I love to see what you are wearing. I love to see what your favorites are. Maybe we might have something in common. I want to see if we have similar tastes and fragrances. Maybe you may um, go ahead and mention something that I have in my collection. I can go ahead and review that next. So that'd be great. Yeah, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> uh, well, thank you everybody for coming back to Heaven Sent Boyfriend. We love to see you here and we want to see you next Friday. So come back and visit. All right, guys. Enjoy your evening and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>